Okay, hello. My name is Katrin Sigiana and I am a producer of Creative Lab of Medit. And this Medit is Science Center of Media Innovation and Digital Culture. And our daily life is uh, working with a scientist, Aspia. She is here and uh, she can talk uh, and, and show about her work more, but uh, basically daily our scientist uh, will work with, uh, with media innovation and digital culture in different fields and uh, they support and uh, supervise uh, uh, CIG doctors, these uh, students, now I collapsed, and also publish uh, articles and books and make their investigations and surveys about uh, what is going on on, uh, on, on the digital culture and media field. But about the uh, Medic Creative Lab, I have been here, here almost one year as a producer and we are very beginning in one way, but our aim is to to support uh, different partners, clients and ourselves to develop uh, new digital um, augmented reality and virtual reality environments and hopefully there will be something new, something that doesn't exist yet, but we are growing as the technical background all the time is uh, developing so we try to go ahead uh, and, and follow. But um, for the start we have uh, we have our showreel from this year project which will give a little bit short overview. Not sure. <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> it is training for the eye. So these are student projects? Uh, no, this first one, maybe I will try to start it again. This first uh, project uh, was uh, with uh, so this educational and science ministry. Our minister was in Brussels with all the science and education ministry, and they were in they were participate virtually in our youth work conference. This is one artist project. This is the film about this uh, from the Pekka with an NAFTA film company, and this is one uh, one project with a theater where this. Uh, Virtual art uh, actor and real actors are both together <coughs> in, in the, on the stage. But this is at the moment on the working process. But our biggest uh, and most important project, uh, which we are do doing with our students from different uh, curriculum and, and fields and backgrounds, is, uh, is one app. And this app is... Uh, And this app is about uh, one city, Narva. Who know about Narva? <laughs> who, ha who are coming from Narva? Nobody has baby. But um, why Narva? There is uh, the Narva, the city, how it was uh, before the 8th March of 1944. It was absolutely different view as it is now. It was called uh, North Vienna, and it was uh, this uh, th this city, this paper city there. The sizes are five to thirteen uh, meters. The author is uh, sitting there, and our aim is to bring back this invisible Narva. That when you go to Narva, you can see there some buildings. And you can 
study and uh, discover this history, different persons, buildings, all the cultural and heritage background. And for that, for example, this is uh, the house of Peter I, who, who was there and built uh, this house. And when he was in Narva, he used uh, this house. But this Fyodor, this author of this uh, paper city, have built it up based to the 1940 plan and old photos and a uh, lot of work. We, we made uh, some... Uh, some recordings already problems is that during the working process you discover always that you need some more material but uh, Narva city government uh, packed this city at the moment so it is in one kindergarten and they are struggling where to put this old method but it is huge work and quite unique um, old city it's a very safe place to put it in a kindergarten <laughs> Uh, this is uh, because this uh, kindergarten is not existing, uh, they're not working at the moment, and they just backed in. And there was different, uh, a different competition even. Several, <laughs> several persons or companies were interested to, to get this. But there was, for example, library. There is one shovel middle of it that you can't put it, and so on. This uh, We are struggling at the moment, uh, and kind of try to give ideas from here that uh, maybe some uh, shopping center would like to get it there and it is under the glass but we can also use it if we need some different roads and, and things. But basically for the photogrammetry we filmed the whole city. It sounds very big that we filmed the whole city. <laughs> But uh, now that we start uh, this photogrammetry and also figure out this, um, the different fields and different levels of the history to combine uh, app. And uh, we are working together with Oslo University. And they are already, they tested their prototype in the end of May. And uh, their app is based their logic is that you have to, you will say, stand in the square in front of the city hall, which is one of uh, existing buildings, yet there is four buildings at the moment still somehow in some condition standing there from the old version. And you have to figure out the right corner where this uh, photo have uh, taken. <coughs> and if you all solve this... Uh, tasks, then you will see the city square will go color and you will hear the, the sound of old man car and uh, this animation start to work. So basically it means that and the next level is that you will you can choose these different options and hear about the background and history. And the reality is that you have at the moment iPad, but in the future, future also iPhone. At the moment it is only for iOS. That you can see there, may maybe, what was there and what is existing there. This is quite different to these views. Actually, absolutely different. And Estonians, we are here also working with this app. And um, now I lost my mask. Our, our, our app is more concentrated to this gloomy garden area. There is, uh, we have to choose places uh, where, where to start because there is impossible to get the whole, whole city. But in the future we would like to com connect uh, this um, because uh, all that came inside the Narva will react to the GPS signals. And if you were, are in one spot, then something will pop up. Sometimes it is house, and house start to tell you about something or provide you some options. And m sometimes it is uh, somebody from the history that you can meet different characters. There is a lot of history, quite interesting. Some are world famous, some are less. 
but for Estonian history they are quite remarkable and um, we really work we we work and we really hope that uh, this app in the future can be support uh, tourism culture education of course and also business because we are using to promote it <coughs> and um, in some elements building already dance media storytelling and course media marketing also and our area is uh, there are bastions and uh, two two streets but basically at the moment i can talk uh, quite more we have scenar scenarios uh, and we have to present uh, our first prototype on 21st february but if somebody see that uh, they would like to somehow join somehow collaborate with merit deeply welcome not only for this app generally also we are open to collaborate and uh, contacts are here thank you can we ask technical questions <laughs> uh, let's try <laughs> Uh, so the app uh, knows the location of the player, but how how do you know that they are now looking at the right building? Uh, because uh, there, there will be some hints uh, also supporting, oh. but uh, this uh, not for the prototype, but the logic, uh, the future vo logic will be that you can also play a little bit it already on the web, oh. wherever you are, and discover something about Narva kind of teaser that you will go there and there this app start to start start to work uh, properly that uh, you will go and uh, then you hear voice from your uh, from from your device and there is uh, somebody will maybe cheat you maybe will lead you to the right way so it would be really interactive and a lot of work um, i have a technical question uh, uh, how do you manage to put uh, this uh, Narva model uh, into iOS? I mean, uh, size-wise, do you use uh, procedural uh, like Houdini or Substrator for texturing and modeling? Or uh, you just uh, model the city and you just put it into game engine like Unity or Unreal? Uh, we try to build up it with texture uh, uh, building by building. Textures are, uh, uh, I mean, each building is a uh, different texture. Uh, like okay. they were. Okay. okay. We try to be, uh, we try to work out very authentic one. Uh, at the moment we are struggling uh, a little bit with the uh, art academy. Basically they, they have uh, the students and know-how, but somehow they are really keen and interested about the future and not of the history, but, but uh, we are... Our aim is to talk about Narva history, present and future. <laughs> and uh, these models they provided as an example at the moment. These were this, uh, the second option you, you talked, but uh, this is uh, not for this, don't, uh, this, uh, this technical and artistical point of view doesn't raise up the Narva as it was, so it doesn't... Uh, doesn't please us as we hope but we are collaborating and I'm quite sure that uh, they we will go further but the old pictures are uh, just as a reference or you just uh, I mean uh, there was a picture where there was on one screen there was this old uh, this Oslo University yeah. yes okay but these are just r references uh, you, you don't use them for uh, texturing or anything uh, these uh, uh, these Oslo students made uh, this with two program and one or two students worked with one. We, our version will go uh, a little bit uh, different. Okay. Our buildings really, really hope, I don't, I'm not quite sure, but I uh, really hope that already in the first uh, prototype you can see three to five uh, 3T old building and two 2T characters mm -hmm. from the history. Is the is the um, photogrammetry version of the cardboard Narva available somewhere? 
Uh, at the moment, uh, no, it is not public at the moment. I can't share, but if we need anyway, we need support and know-how about photogrammetry. We have this sound, uh, this uh, cloud point, point cloud, uh, is already done from the from the Art Academy. Martin Meljoranski did it and tried it, and it showed. Uh, it takes time to dig it out from the computer, this point of view, how it covered. It wasn't uh, so bad, it was quite well actually. And uh, we are not building the whole city. We are building these areas and some certain buildings there. It, it is enough. And we already made, uh, we, we filmed and made photos already that 60% uh, each, uh, each photo will cover the earlier and next one. And uh, directly to down and 40 degree and 40 degree. But the city was so, uh, why, we, why we need this city, this model at the moment is that uh, now you can a little bit lift it and put the camera inside of the city because they are quite close. If these houses are basically like this, and if they are all there, the luckily cameras will go smaller and smaller, and uh, technical <coughs> technical background will support us. But the problem is that at the moment this city is packed. So it's definitely a very very unique uh, approach to to creating a a copy of a city out of paper. I'm not so familiar with this project, though. <laughs> I'm also also connected to many, but uh, so I missed the missed the beginning part. So this uh, the whole city has now shot with uh, photogrammetry, right? So this like model, yeah. Small parts of that. the the city, the huge the city, city, has been made into a small paper mod cardboard mobile model, and this cardboard model has been shot by like a tri tiny drone. <laughs> this is a very interesting. Uh, Copy of a copy, yes. And, and so <laughs> this is the city. <laughs> so, uh, what, what kind of technology have you used for photogrammetry? Like, does that that also include this, all the spatial information or only the spatial information we need? Also, it is open at the moment. There is two or three programs which we can use. But anyway, are here these photogrammetry persons? There's still an academy about you talking to for the photogrammetry uh, there, so, uh, the But for the prototype, uh, anyway, during the prototype, we would like to list down um, uh, these possible experts because uh, there are some buildings we will uh, need uh, more support. Uh, some buildings are quite easy, but what showed from the what, uh, what our experience was with this uh, Oslo University prototype testing, there was uh, this um, Narva old historic um, friends, there is community, and they came, they were really skeptical. And uh, they tried this, and the next view was that how they came blooming and walking with this, and they were really well surprised. That was nice. but. They are very sensitive, and for example, this city city hall, there are stairs and there are some certain elements, and these were foggy, and these were, weren't uh, made very ex ex exactly. And this gave us this uh, answer that if we will build some building, already rebuild the, the building, it had to be these elements, really, really clear and exact as much as we can find the materials. Luckily, this is the city hall is very good uh, building. We figured out that uh, which year they got the door from where from Sweden this this um, golden ornamentic uh, thing. We have to be really authentic uh, with these elements, and that's why we need uh, all know-how from Estonia. But basically, uh, it, at the final uh, like program. Uh, there, when you go to the place, you put up your iPad, you see something, and what will you see? Will you see the uh, 3D model, like a uh, properly done 3D model, or you will see a uh, photogrammetry of this maquette? Uh, we would like to provide you this uh, 3D photogrammetry model. 
mm-hmm. combined with uh, gaming elements, with easter, with uh, characters from history, mm-hmm. with Foley in some point where you are moving from one mm-hmm. point to other, you can uh, hear how, uh, how about this uh, uh, translator, not, not translator, narrator will talk to you. So to combine it to one interesting digital narva. Yeah, I think it's a very great idea to use the photogrammetry of uh, this because uh, so some buildings, if you make a more detail, maybe you, if there is uh, the guy who makes this, maybe he can detail some uh, buildings for you more, mm-hmm. like he can build some trees or something, so you don't need to like re- remake it from the start. No, you, you have to remake everything. I tried uh, yeah. photogrammetry in VR, but you get one to ten million polygon models for a, for one house, and you only get textures. Your, your iPad will explode. <laughs> yeah, but you, you have to remake everything if you want the uh, device to be up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not like you remake it. Uh, but even if the photogrammetry is good, it's still a paper model that cannot <laughs> scale up. So. Yeah, but it, it will have its unique look. Right? Yes, the, yeah. I definitely think it's it's very artistic. So it's, keep yeah, it keep it as it is. Artistic. Thing because uh, I also saw that that some buildings were looking too good already. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, here. Yes. These uh, students, this Oslo University. Yes. But I'm uh, I'm a little confused. Uh, you used the model because the actual old town is not preserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. There is four buildings left. Four buildings from this city, the whole city. Oh, this, okay. So there you actually don't have even good references to make it more detailed because you might only have old photos and such, right? Basically, yeah. And at the moment, I am waiting from Answerthy Fyodor that. Uh, Out of all of these four buildings are preserved. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, here is the battle also existing, and there is. Uh, some things more, but there was, for example, uh, six churches. Only one is still existing. Most everything went during one day and night, and that's it. I, I would, of course, suggest in, in such a, when, when dealing with such a huge space, <laughs> having a lot of uh, buildings and, and uh, so on, so uh, a nice uh, balance or compromise between between uh, accepting a certain kind of visual look also that can, could be fully uh, utilize also the paper model. And, and so to find a way that not, not trying to make it uh, like fully realistic yeah. in, in terms yeah. of, uh, in terms of, so just uh, accepting that, that kind of uh, visual and more enjoying of, of being able to provide the space and spatial being in that space. Yeah, so. So there's of course a balance there. That's, that's, you have to make decisions that, that that's what that's what uh, usually is done in VR. You have to design around the limitations. So you can say that this old Narva only exists on paper. <laughs> and then you show the paper model, and then like everyone's like, oh, this is so logical. Uh, but um, I have a little bit also this. Um, uh, anyway, this our aim is to provide interesting combined app where is uh, history, gaming elements to provide you kind of pleasure and uh, useful information and educate, uh, educational information about Narva. But also these gaming elements that you have to, some points you have to make some, op- uh, your, uh, there will pop up some options and you <coughs> have to choose what you do, what uh, will happen then. There is the witch Brigitta, we, we somebody sometimes uh, pop up and start to cheat you, maybe. And also, we will uh, digitalize less houses, but good. Because this is not the aim, this is the not the main aim. This uh, Oslo University is basically, these buildings are the main, main aim. Our have this uh, very well combined, um, <coughs> unique story authentic story about Narva and different elements from uh, history. Characters and buildings are equal. Sometimes maybe the house start to tell you everything and, uh, and, uh, and can act uh, as, a, as, a, as a character and sometimes it will be the person from the history and so on. 
and uh, through the region, this the logic a little bit uh, changed, but it is uh, at the moment still kind of forming. Does it happen before, like for example, <coughs> when we are on the street in Narva and we open up and we already realize that actually if we are in the house in the old Narva, but now no one is on the street. My dream is to to make at least one church where you can kind of, you will see it, because there is only this kind of usual box where several apartments and people are living, but there was yes, one very beautiful church that you can see it, and you can step in and see and hear what was uh, there inside, and also these paintings start to tell you new stories. This is the future, uh, future dream. And some elements which we already build that we can use this in the museum. You will can you will use uh, this uh, glasses and put the head and go to some certain stories, three levels. These are as an easy, easy some game elements introduction for the Narva from the from the web, from the computer for example, and then this app on the Narva and the future version also that uh, museum for example can do. And also, one investor is uh, really, really interested about uh, one fighting scene, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but we will negotiate it, and maybe they try to... Anyway, we have to figure, to work out this first the prototype to start to apply more money to continue with. Because the future, it will be the open source for everybody to use it when it is ready. That's important too. All right, very interesting. Come to play with us. <laughs> so. so, so the ne the first version we can try in February. Twenty first February, we have to officially do the show yeah. something. <laughs> but I have luck of the crew also at the moment. Some members are still missing, and uh, the biggest problem is that um, when you are working with the students mostly, um, there will be some month. For example, these scenarios, there is uh, some from the history, some from the documentary, some from uh, cross-media stu students, uh, some political, one from South Korea, and uh, studying here one semester as uh, Erasmus, uh, this uh, intercultural, intercultural communication, uh, they all are so different background. And you already and uh, luckily digital learning games uh, student as well, <laughs> Luck luckily. So so their their background are is so different and try to kind of catch from everybody this during one semester, and then you already figure out that who is who who is uh, very skillful in this field and this field and who are who is interested about, about uh, something, then uh, this semester is over, and they will go to somewhere. We hired some of them to continue with us the next semester because this, this is tricky. And if you have very limited uh, budget, it is more tricky. At the moment, we have a developer. Not uh, it is uh, not our student, but uh, there is a lot of work. We can't uh, put the students to do everything, so we have to be kind of tricky and uh, and to put this team together that they don't disappear all the time after some months it is uh, quite hard in the university but interesting of course but then anyway good experts and good know-how we definitely need because we don't know ourselves everything and we are developing and growing to, with uh, with uh, our project right. good luck <laughs> thank you thank you for being here and thank you that you are here <laughs>